to my channel. I have another home clean video for you guys today. I'm sorry about the glare, but I am having trouble getting used to my new contacts. So I'm wearing my glasses today. So anyway, today I thought it'd be really fun to do a homeschool with me video showing you only the primary workbooks that we use. So a while back I did a video called workbook only homeschooling. And basically it was because one day I was doing school with my daughter, my youngest, who's in fifth grade and I was looking through her, what we were doing every day and almost every single workbook was Evan Moore. We have other curriculum for different things but a lot of our things that we do every single day are Evan Moore's. A lot of people really liked that video and wanted to see kind of more of how we use it. So I have everything laid out on the table. We're gonna have to do some social distancing homeschooling today because I am just getting over having COVID. So I've been doing school in the office and my youngest has been in here in the kitchen and then we'll kind of like talk through the door. She's not in here right now, by the way. So I'm gonna set her up at the kitchen table. That's the only thing that's kind of out of the ordinary for how we normally homeschool because normally her desk, I mean, her desk is still in my office, but normally she's in there with me and we're kind of working together closely together. But today it has to be a little bit different, uh, but I thought it'd be really fun to show you that. And the only two things that I did not show you in that original workbook only video was a math option and a history option. So today I'm actually gonna show you a math option and then also, not really what I would call history, but more social studies and geography. Um, something that we did work through in fifth grade, we just finished it, and we're gonna be starting another version of that in sixth grade. So I'll show you that today, even though we have not officially started this book. It'll make sense in a minute. Let me just show you. I have everything spread out on the table. This is the book I was talking about that we haven't started yet because we just finished another book in this series. They have a series called The Seven Continents. Obviously there are seven of them, we just finished the North American one and I loved it. She learned so much. I learned so much. And it really focuses a lot on not just, geog not just geography, but also the culture of each individual country and some, you know, religious holidays or different significant people or places or things or times in each country in a certain continent. So she actually chose Antarctica. They do have quite a few math options for you if you're wanting to do a math, a workbook style math approach. This is a skill sharpeners math. This is actually something we're doing for extra practice. And basically it's set up like all the other skill sharpeners. So really bright colors. So one thing I like about their skill sharpeners books is they're perfect for review. They're also perfect for, you know, maybe you're schooling on the go. Maybe it's summertime. Maybe you don't have time to do a more time intensive curriculum for something. The skill sharpeners line works perfectly to fill that requirement without taking up too much time. And I'll show you for science as well. We're using that for science, but you can see here numbers and operations, data, geometry, measuring. So all different types of math concepts, but it's really fun and bright and interactive. And I really appreciate that. So that is one thing I did not show you in that original video that we're going to be doing today. Also something we've done in the past that we are not doing currently right now, but we loved it is the skill sharpeners, grammar and punctuation. Same concept with the skill sharpeners. All of the skill sharpeners are super bright and colorful, really fun. And again, they're perfect for review. They're perfect for maybe you're taking a little bit of a break, but you don't want to quit completely with grammar and punctuation. Maybe your child just needs some extra practice. Maybe you want something for the summer. So love that. And then these things we do every single day. So uh, Evan Moore's Building Spelling Skills. I think this is the second or third uh, book we've done of this. Basic, basic spelling curriculum. It is not overdone. It's simple and to the point. You have a word list at the beginning of the week. And then each day you have a, a worksheet working with those words. And then we test on Friday. Here's another Skill Sharpeners book, Skill Sharpeners Science. This has been a perfect fit for us for science for fifth grade. I talked about that in my fifth grade curriculum recap video. I don't know if it's gone up or not yet, but basically I said we had stepped back from what we were doing for science to take a little bit of a break, keep it really simple, but still you know, hitting the main concepts, making it colorful and fun. And this has been a great fit for us. So that is science for us. Something we just added in fifth grade is the daily six trait writing. I love this. I cannot say enough good things about this. A little over halfway through this book. And I've noticed already that her, her writing voice and her creative writing style has already improved. And so it takes like five or 10 minutes, literally a day to do this. So you could do this along with any other grammar program you're using, um, but it's, it's, really, it's really great. I love that. Also for vocabulary, we are using the daily academic vocabulary. We did just start this 
Prior to this, we were using a Word a Day, which is also a great program. This one has a teeny bit more involvement from me, maybe five or 10 minutes a day. This is actually my book. Um, but basically, you have a word list, and here I have all of my teaching instructions of what I'm gonna be saying to her throughout the day. And then in her workbook, she is seeing these pages. So she's working through day one, day two, day three, day four, and then day five, they have, I don't wanna call it a test, but it's an assessment. Basically, it is going through the words that she's done that week. And then every nine weeks, I believe it is, you have a cumulative review. So anything that you did from weeks one through eight, you're reviewing in week nine, and then you start over week 10. And then again, nine, nine weeks later, you'll have another cumulative review. So those are the books we're gonna be working through today. Just giving you kind of an up close glimpse of how we do our school with a lot of things from Evan Moore um, and some great options for you guys. Okay, so get out your vote or do you have vocabulary? Oh yeah. Okay, outline is a noun. A line or shape that shows the outer edge of something. So, like you can see on a map, you can see the outline of the states, right? Mm -hmm. How would you complete this sentence? Even when it's dark in my room, I can see the outline of... Mm -hmm. Or Bean's cage. Which things have outlines that you can see? Air, maps, footprints, or steam? Footprints and maps. Yeah. And which one is an example of an outline? A, B, C, or D? C. Right. So outline, that's the outline as a noun. It's a thing, right? Yes. Yeah. Outline as a verb is to physically draw the edge or shape of something. So I decided to first outline the tree before I started coloring. So like when you're drawing your pictures and you do the line art, that's basically an outline, right? And then you color it in, right? So that's outline as a verb. It's a physical thing that you're doing now. You're not, you're not just looking at a line around something. You're actually doing it yourself, right? So day two, how would you complete this sentence? I can outline a blank by tracing it on paper. So the last time we talked about run on sentences, right? And how to make them, to break them up, if you, right? So it says this week we'll learn how to put short sentences together into longer sentences. Longer sentences help our writing flow better. It says read the headline and the first two sentences of the advertisement. So what's the headline on that page? Hey, stop. Be a cop star with your own power. Can you read that normally? <laughs> <laughs> Be a pop star with your own guitar. Right, and what's the first two sentences? Pop, the pop rock music store has new guitars in stock. We have almost 100 and we want to sell them now. The second sentence it says is a compound sentence where two sentences were joined to make one compound sentence. As you can tell, it has a comma somewhere. A comma and. So it could have said, we have almost 100, period. We want to sell them now but it makes it sound a little bit better and less choppy to put them together, right? So what word was used to join those two sentences, you said? What did you just say? We have a hundred, almost a hundred, and we want to sell them now. What word joined those two sentences? And. And, and is a conjunction. It's a special word that can connect two sentences. The words but and or are also conjunctions. So and, but, or. So it says, underline the sentence and circle the comma and the conjunction that we just read. Mm -hmm. Now read the rest of the paragraph out loud and see what other compound sentences you find. Each guitar comes with five free lessons. Learn to play the hits of the day or learn to write your own. So hurry down today to get your new guitar. You may have a lot of them now, but they won't last long. Did you see any more compound sentences? Yes. Yeah. Which one? The last one. Well, that's one of them, yeah. We may have a lot of them now, yeah, but they won't last one. long. So underline that and circle the conjunction. Um, and then s learn to play of the day or mm -hmm. right. Okay, so underline that and circle the conjunction. Four. Right. Life is a winding road No telling
feeling where it goes Driving through days and nights Won't stop for traffic lights And I, I really wanna know, really wanna know If I, will ever figure out where the road goes Even if I'm falling down, I will keep on searching for my highs Say I lost my mind I will keep on holding my head high Even if the sky is falling down Jumping from cliffs so high Trusting our wings to fly Sometimes we're crashing down But we get up and start from the ground And I, I really wanna know, really wanna know If I, will ever figure out where the road goes Even if I'm falling down, I will keep on searching for my highs Say I lost my mind, I will keep on holding my head high Even if the sky is falling down